Okay, friends. Welcome back. Uh, today we have a we have a switch, and uh, the switch is a. Uh, look at the switch. Look at the number of the switch. Uh, this is this is a three five. This three five six zero. I'm trying to get it clear so you can see that three five six zero G. Then what's the problem of the switch? The switch won't plug then. You can see, let me show you. It's not plugged in. You can hear the sound. But here, you can see the light is very, very dim. Very, very dim. This light can make you not know when it's ready or not. Because look at this, look at this place. Here, here is system, here is RPS, here is start, which is the status. So this is not clear. So like this, you can know uh, when it's ready or not. Or some people with eye problem cannot, uh, cannot, uh, uh, see clearly. You cannot see that. This is very, it's very dim. Very dim. The light is very dim. So how do you solve this problem? You can solve this problem even as some professional, but you have to open the switch first. I have to show you how to solve this very problem. So let's get to work. Let me remove the power first. Okay. Remove the screws. At both sides of the switch. And this as well. So I have to use flat and Remove these screws at the back. So, the four screws at the back. Mm. 
this uh, is still a uh, a good switch just that um, uh, it was carelessly dropped uh, close to a very dusty area because of uh, this very problem because you need a uh, some customer at least needs need to see because uh, some customers like this uh, may have an eye problem you cannot see it very clearly so so this is a switch you can see the inside of the switch you can see it's a very clean switch very clean uh, new switch just look clear uh, carelessly by uh, this, uh, this this guy because of the beam uh, problem okay uh, the, the case of this problem is uh, this uh, light uh, channel is the cause of the problem the light channel is not set well it's not positioned well it didn't fit inside it there's a hole at the back of this place let me use the one I remove like you can see this every light has a like these uh, this these ones here yeah? all of them has a place to fit in every one of them has a place to fit in so when they don't fit in very well then you find that look at this place is a meant for each indicator to fit in you see all of them when they're not fitting very well they cannot radiate very well outside so that the, the 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 person that owns it will be able to see the light. So what I'm going to do right now is, if I want to do this, the reason why I have to open it completely because sometimes you see that this thing is falling out inside of this place. So I've seen that it's not uh, inside. Uh, sometimes the legs, some the legs, the leg inside here, the leg inside here. will remove will be inside and when you push this one to fit it in very well you see it will be dancing it should be dancing so this place this back here has a hole it has to fit in so even if you push it like this it will still come back but if it's not inside like that when you put it inside it will stay inside like that so because of the hole here inside this place that is supposed to fit in then you put it inside the hole very well push it inside so that even if so what you're going to do is you first of all you bend this like this let me, let me show you very well when you want to push put this you have to bend it like this you have to bend it see this place has to touch this place first hmm? while you're pushing this one down has to touch it to, have to cover first then first of all then the down will fall So this guy is actually the problem, the channel, the light channel is actually the problem of the switch. So let's check again. You can see now it's very bright now. You can see it before it was very fenty. You cannot see anything. You see that very clear right now. 
let me remove it again then put it back again you can see so that is it whenever you have this kind of problem and the switch is working very well just know that the, the indicator channel uh, is not in good shape maybe the indicator sh channel has maybe uh, it's no longer that uh, a sharp you can also change the indicator channel this this channel indicator channel you can also change it and or maybe it's missed the the that's the the place it's supposed to fit in it's not in its place again so what you do is you fit it in very well you put it place it very well put it back and uh, it will come back that's just error. Thank you very much.